بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد continue reading from the treaties of Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahab رحمه الله تعالى ثلاثة أصول وادلتها the three fundamental principles and and their evidences. We're reading from the second principle, which is to know, to have knowledge and understanding of the deen of Islam with evidences and proofs. And uh, that which is related to that from the levels of the deen and uh, the fact that each level it has stages and levels or pillars excuse me the fact that each level and stage it has pillars and we have been reading from what the author he has mentioned with regards to the pillars of al-islam arkan al-islam and we have been reading about that great pillar the first pillar shahada shahada to an la ilaha illallah we have seen some of the evidences and the benefits and the details with regards to the first shahada, the testification of faith and the belief and the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shahada bi wahdaniyat Allahi azza wa jal, and that He is the only one who is worthy of worship. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that everything that is worshipped besides him is worshipped in falsehood and does not deserve to be worshipped. This evening we begin this evening we begin reading what the author he has mentioned with regards to the evidences of the second testification of faith, which comes along with the first testification, and neither will be correct except whenever they are coupled together. The testification that there's nothing worthy of worship except for Allah. And the testification that Muhammad he is the slave and the ser- the slave and the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the author he says, "What the little shahadati anna Muhammad and Rasulullah qawluhu taala," and the evidence for the shahada that or the testification of faith that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The statement of Allah the Most High: "لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنْفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِتُمْ." The statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, whenever He has said that verily a messenger has come to you from amongst yourselves, and it is very hard, hard upon him that you will go through difficulties, and He has diligence upon you, meaning upon your guidance and your benefit, uh, and He is very kind and merciful with the believers, and He is very, He is kind and very merciful to the believers. This is the description of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That he is a messenger, that he has come, and he has come from amongst the people. Min anfusikum, he is from the people that he was sent to. He is from them. They know him, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They know his family, and they know his lineage, and they they know his manners and his conduct and his character, and they know what he was upon before he was sent as a messenger. They know him. Min anfusikum, laqajaakum rasulu min anfusikum. And from the attributes and the characteristics of that messenger who has come, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, azizun alayhi ma'anittum, that it's very hard on him and difficult for him the, that you will be in, in any harm or hard, or hardship. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he did not like for his ummah and for his followers and believers to be in hardship and in difficulty. And he was diligent to guide them and he was diligent to bring the good to them and the khair to them and to facilitate for them uh, the affairs of the deen so that they can follow it properly. And he was very kind and merciful, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bil mu'minina ra'ufun rahim. Bil mu'minina ra'ufun rahim. The author, he says, وَمَعْنَى الشَّهَادَةِ وَمَعْنَى شَهَادَةِ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ طَاعَتُهُ فِيمَا أَمَرَ وَتَصْدِيقُهُ فِيمَا أَخْبَرَ وَاجْتِنَابُ مَا عَنْهُ نَهَا وَزَجَرَ وَأَلَّا يُعْبَدَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِمَا شَرَعَ وَأَلَّا يُعْبَدَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِمَا شَرَعَ The author, he says, in the meaning of this testification of faith, this is an indication likewise similar to that which has has preceded with the shahada بِوَحْدَانِيَةِ اللَّهِ أَنَّ لَهَا مَعْنَى لَهَا مَعْنَى عَظِيمٌ that it has a great meaning, 
The statement has a great meaning. Likewise, the shahada that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah, it has a meaning. It has a meaning and it has requirements. And the author is indicating to this, the meaning of the testification that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah, it means that you testify and you bear witness and you take an oath that you will obey him and that which he has commanded, that he will be obeyed in that which he has commanded, and that he will be believed in that which he has informed. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he must be obeyed. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مَا الرَّسُولٍ إِلَّا لِيُطَاعَ بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ And Allah, he says that no, we have not sent any messenger before, except that he should be obeyed by the permission of Allah. So that means the right of the messengers and the final and the last of them, the, Muh- the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that, that they must be obeyed. Rather, that's the meaning of the shahada anna Muhammad and Rasulullah. Whenever a believer, he says, أَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ That he bears witness that there's nothing worthy of worship except for Allah, and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. With regards to the second testification, that means that he is saying that I will obey the messenger. I will obey him in that which he has commanded. طَاعَتُهُ فِي مَا أَمَرَ طَاعَةُ الرَّسُولُ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ فِيهَا فَلَاحْ فِدَّارَيْنِ In the obedience of the messenger, there is success. وَالسَّعَادَةَ And happiness and bliss in this life and in the hereafter. This is from the meaning of that testification and that's what that necessitates and requires for it to be correct and upright. The testification and the belief that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam طَاعَتُهُ فِي مَا أَمَرَ that he, should, that he must be obeyed in that which he commands. وَتَصْدِيقُهُ فِي مَا أَخْبَرَ And likewise that he has believed uh, that he has believed in everything that he is informed, and yani whatever the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has informed us about, whatever he has, uh, whatever he has uh, conveyed to us, whether it's the Quran or whether it's from his Sunan, and the information that he has relayed to us in his Sunnah and in his ways, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Qur'an, of course, is uh, all authentic. And as for the Sunan, if it's established that it is authentic likewise, then it must be believed. And one must not ever uh, try to find contradictions in the statements of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or disbelieve in any of them or reject any of them. Rather, from the completion and the perfection of the testification that Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tasdiquhu fima akhbara to believe in everything that he is informed of. To believe in everything that he has informed of. That which he has informed of of the past. And that which he has informed of of the future events that would occur. That which he has informed of of the affairs of the hereafter. And the affairs of the Jannah and the affairs of the grave. That which he has informed of of the attributes and the names. The lofty names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of these things. They must be believed. And everything that has been authentically reported on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is the truth. وَهُوَ الصَّادِقُ الْمَسْدُ and he is the one who is truthful and he is the one who is aided with the truth by the Lord of the worlds, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the meaning of this testification. Likewise, and also from the completion and the perfection and the correctness of that testification, and to refrain and to stay away from everything that he has prohibited and reprimanded. Everything that he has prohibited, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it must be avoided and it must be left off. And everything that he has scolded with regards to reprimanded, now he has prohibited harshly, likewise all of it, it must be left off. Everything that the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he has forbade the ummah from, it must be left off, left off entirely. وَاجْتِنَابُ مَا عَنْهُ نَهَا وَزَجْرَ and like this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has mentioned about His Messenger, وَمَا آتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُ That whatever the Messenger has given you, then take it. And whatever He has commanded you with it and encouraged you to do, then you must take it and hold fast to that and know that the khayr and the goodness is in that. And the pleasure of Allah is in the application of that. وَمَا آتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ and then likewise, وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُ But whatever he has prohibited you from, then leave it entirely. Then leave it entirely. So this is from the completion and the perfection and the correctness of the statement. Huh? The shahada, أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَاجْتِنَابُ مَا عَنْهُ نَهَا وَزَجْرًا To leave off everything that he has prohibited and everything that he has reprimanded. صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَأَلَّا يُعْبَدَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِمَا شَرَعًا and that Allah, He should not be worshipped in any manner except in the manner that is legislated by Allah and likewise legislated by the Messenger of Allah. 
that which is le- le- that which is legislated by Allah and that which uh, Allah has commanded the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to legislate likewise and that which the, the messenger he has declared to be halal and permissible is like that which Allah has declared in his book to be halal and permissible and that which the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam has declared haram and impermissible then likewise it's just like the same thing that Allah has declared in his book impermissible subhanahu wa ta'ala and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was sent for this for this purpose and for the completion of the sharia and the completion of the deen rather the deen was not complete until he had it was completed at the hands of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the end of his life sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the day of Jumu'ah on the day of Arafah in Hajj Hajjat al-Wada' al-yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al-islam al-deena whenever this verse was revealed Allahu Akbar now so the author he's indicating here these affairs here there are one two three four affairs that we have to memorize learn and know with regards to this testification of faith and in reality, I sincerely advise my family first and my brothers and sisters who are listening that they should memorize this portion of the text. That, it, that if, and in reality, they should memorize this whole text if they are able to. But if they find difficulty in that, they should at least memorize this portion here. And if some of these portions of the text, and from them very important to, rem- to memorize the portion related to the meaning and the understanding of a shahadatain, that which has pre- preceded, and he, the, the, whenever he mentioned the shahada and the dalil, the dalil for shahada, and then he mentioned the meaning of the shahada, wa ma'naha, la ma'abuda bi haqqin illa Allah. And then he mentioned the pillars, nafian, la ilaha, nafian, jami'a yu'badu min dunillah, illa Allah, muthbitan al ibadat lillahi wahda. And then likewise, this portion here, whenever he mentioned the shahada and the evidences and the proof for the shahada, and now he mentions the meaning of the shahada, that, the, that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, this is very beneficial to memorize and to know. وَمَعْنَ الشَّهَادِ وَمَعْنَ الشَّهَادَةِ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ طَاعَتُهُ فِيمَا أَمْرًا Number one, to obey him and that which he has commanded. وَتَصْدِيقُهُ فِيمَا أَخْبَرًا And to believe in everything that he is informed of. وَاجْتِنَابُ مَا أَنْهُ نَهَ وَزَجْرًا And to stay away from him, to avoid and leave off everything he has prohibited. صلى الله عليه وسلم in the fourth one, أَلَّا يُعْبَدَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِمَا شَرَعًا that Allah should not be worshipped in any manner except in the manner that he has legislated, except in the manner that has come in the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So the author, he mentioned the, the, an evidence here, وَدَلِيلُ الشَّهَادَةِ يعني الشَّهَادَةِ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ And he mentioned this verse. Likewise, there are other verses uh, that are evidences for this in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like, uh, Allah, he says, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ جَمِيعًا Allah, he commanded his prophet to say, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, say, meaning, O Muhammad, O mankind, verily I am the messenger of Allah to you all, all together. Verily, I'm the messenger of Allah to you all together. So the Prophet wasallam he sent to all mankind. Likewise, Allah, he mentioned about his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Surah Al-Fatih, Muhammadur Rasulullah. Muhammadur Rasulullah. Allahu Akbar. Allah, he says, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. This is in the revelation in the Quran. Allah, he said, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. He's the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. These are some of the evidences which are established in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is the messenger, that he is the messenger of Allah. But likewise, there are many evidences that he is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. From the greatest evidences and proofs of his messengership, of his messengership sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the book of Allah Azza wa Jal, is the Qur'an. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has challenged all of mankind to bring ten chapters the likes thereof, or, or even one chapter the likes thereof. And uh, they were not able to do that. They were not able to do that. Mankind until this day, they were not able to, uh, to uh, fulfill this challenge. Allah has challenged all mankind to bring ten chapters or even one chapter, the likes of the Qur'an. And this is along in the time of the Messenger wasallam. whenever the people that uh, uh, disbelieved in him, they had stern and severe enmity for him. 
they had stern and severe enmity for him and they hated him and they and they tried and they attempted to kill him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and there was a great adawa between him and between them and uh, also along with that there they were people of uh, great uh, eloquence and speech and ability uh, to be uh, eloquent in the arabic language but all at the same time they were not able they were not able to stand up to that challenge. They were not able to stand up to that challenge and neither has anyone been able all the way into this day after 1441 years to stand up to that challenge, to bring one chapter, the like, the likes of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the one chapter, from the likes of the chapters, from the noble, the noble Qur'an. So this is a clear evidence and indication that he is the messenger of Allah and that this is revelation that is revealed to him. In huwa illa wahyun yuha. In, in huwa illa wahyun yuha. So they're not able to. They're not able to. Mankind is not able to, to produce the likes uh, of the Quran, or not even the likes of ten chapters therein, or not even the likes of one chapter, from the smallest of the chapters of the Book of Allah, Azza wa Jal. So this is a clear evidence that He is the Messenger of Allah. This is a clear evidence that He is the Messenger of Allah. This is from those proofs. Likewise, from uh, the proofs uh, that he is the messenger of Allah, is we see how those who followed him from his companions, all the Allah and Huma, they were given victory, and many of them they were weak, and, and they were not strong, like Bilal, for example, and how they were they were oppressed and the likes like this. But in the end, they had victory and they conquered their enemies and they had the upper hand. But even in the beginning, they were from the weakest of the people. The followers of the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Many of them were in this manner. They were weak, like the family of Yasir, uh, and uh, like Bilal, and other than them. And they were tortured and they were harmed. But Allah subhanahu wa taala, He aided them, and and the aqibah, and the end was for them. And they were the victorious in the end. And likewise, those who had enmity towards them, they were completely destroyed, and they were. Humiliated, and those who disbelieved in the, in the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and tried to harm his companions, they were abandoned there, and they were left, and they had no aid and support, and they were defeated, and they were defeated. Wallahi alhamd. And likewise, we see that uh, the people who opposed the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his life, how they they were punished in this life. We see, I and mean, from the evidences of his truthfulness, that how those who opposed him they were punished in this life, and they were uh, and they were humiliated in this life. Uh, and the likes like this, and even they, they were the, the majority of the people, or they had great numbers, and they had great strengths, like in the Battle of Badr, uh, there were many uh, of the Mushrikun, and there were only a few hundred uh, of the believers, but they were given victory, and, they, and the, likewise they did not have uh, their provision and their weapons uh, like the disbelievers had, but still Allah, He aided them and gave them victory. This is all an evidence that He's the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Likewise, from the evidences and the proofs that he's the messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he's the messenger of Allah, is that he does not write and he does not, know how to, he does not know how to read writing. He does not write himself and if someone wrote something, he cannot read it sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If, 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 if he, there is something written down, he cannot read it and he himself, he cannot write with a pen. He, he, can, he could not write with a pen sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yet he came with this Qur'an. Yet he came with this revelation. Yet he came with the ahkam of the tahara and the ahkam of a salat and all the details with regards to that and the ahkam uh, of, uh, of zakat and wealth and the wealth that must be paid on animals and the different numbers of the animals and likewise on gold and silver and also the ahkam and the rulings that are in great detail with regards to fasting and with regards to hajj. Likewise, the regulations and details that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he has uh, legislated by the permission of Allah azza wa with regards to marriage and divorce and with regards to children and with regards to breastfeeding. All of this is clear, clear details and evidences in the Quran and likewise in the sunnah. All of this is mentioned. Yet he cannot read and he cannot write. If you give him a pen, he can't write. And if you write for him, he can't read it. Sallallahu alayhi wa Yet he brought all this knowledge. Yet he brought all this knowledge and this legislation that is complete. This manners that are lofty and upright and, and high and noble. 
And likewise, this legislation that is good and it commands with everything that is good, yet he cannot read and he cannot write, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He could not read nor could he write, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is a miracle. This is from the, the aid and support of Allah. It's revelation from Allah Azza that he has um, brought this knowledge. Knowledge of the deen and knowledge of the dunya and knowledge of the hereafter and everything that he is informed about, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yet, لا يخط بيده لا يخط بيمينه صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا يقرأ الخط ولا يقرأ الخط he does not write with his right hand he himself he cannot write this is a sign and a proof Allah Akbar and neither can he read writing he cannot read handwriting himself صلى الله عليه وسلم and he did also he did not learn from the ulama he did not learn from the ulama rather he was a shepherd and he dealt with the uh, the the life he he lived the life of a shepherd sallallahu alaihi wasallam taking care uh, of uh, of the sheep and the likes like this sallallahu alaihi wasallam and likewise he informed about affairs that are unseen and the affairs in the grave and the affairs of the jannah and the affairs of the nar and the details of that and what happens to the soul whenever it's taken he has brought so much detail the affairs of angels. Affairs, and he has mentioned the details of angels and the hellfire, how the, how the angels will bring the hellfire on the day of resurrection. All of these affor- the affairs he has informed us about, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All of these affairs he has informed us about, and even some of the affairs that he has informed us about from that were, the affairs that were of the unseen, they occurred and they happened as he mentioned. They occurred and they happened as 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 he mentioned, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like how he mentioned from the signs of the of the last days that the people who are from the Arabs and they have and they're poor and the likes like this, they will start competing and building high buildings. They will start competing and racing each other to build and competing with each other to build high buildings. And Tara. And you will see these people who have no clothing and any orat who fed. نعم رعشاء العالم رعشاء يتطاولون في البنيان يعني hastening and competing with other to, to, build, to build buildings all of this he has informed us of صلى الله عليه وسلم and many of it much of it has occurred all of this is clear evidence that he is the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم that he is the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم so the author, he mentioned the, the verse here, لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ And he, this is clear evidence, likewise, they, they, had, the, they, they knew the Prophet ﷺ, and they knew his manners, and they knew his etiquettes, and even uh, from amongst them, before he was sent as a Prophet and Messenger ﷺ, his people, they considered him uh, to be very trustworthy and honest, and even they had given him the nickname of Al-Amin, because of his honesty and his trustworthiness, and he was known for that. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Likewise, Allah, He says, Azizun alayhi ma'anitum, meaning that it's very hard and difficult upon Him, and, and it's heavy on Him, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that you will go in, into difficulties, that you will be in hardship. And the Prophet, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, He did not like for the Ummah to be in hardship or in difficulties. Even He said about His deen, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Bu'iftu bil hanafiyya. I was sent with al uh, Hanafiya, yani the afwan al Hanifiya, Bu'iftu bil Hanifiya, a Samha, Bu'iftu bil Hanifiya, a Samha, I was sent with al Hanifiya, yani the Deen al Deen al Hanif, the religion of pure monotheism, a Samha, the one that is easy, and the one that is easy and facilitated. And he said, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inna hadha deen. Yusrun, that verily this deen it is easy, this deen it is easy and it's facilitated. So the legislation of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he was sent with, it is easy and it is facilitated. Sahla, alhamdulillah wa samha, alhamdulillah. But at the same time it is complete and perfect, kamila. At the same time it is complete and perfect, it is kamila. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is also described in this verse, harisun alaykum, harisun alaykum, he is diligent upon you. Diligent over you, and he meaning for your guidance and to save you from the hellfire. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was diligent to guide the people and to call them. He worked hard in his dawah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he called the people. And even he's harmed for that sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And even they attempted to they attempted to kill him, his own brother, his own brethren, and the people from his own tribe. Uh, but he was steadfast and diligent upon the guidance of the people, trying to call them sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And like this, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned in a narration by Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu, it's in uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, wa Sahih Muslim, 
that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, إِنَّمَا مَثَلِي وَمَثَلُ النَّاسِ كَمَثَلِ رَجُلٍ اسْتَوْقَدَ نَارًا فَلَمَّا أَضَاءَتْ مَا حَوْلَهُ جَعَلَ الْفَرَاشِ وَهَذِهِ الدَّوَابِ أَلَّتِي تَقَعُ فِي النَّارِ يَقَعْنَا فِيهَا He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said the example or the parable of me and the parable of the people is that of a man who has ignited a fire, he has lit a fire. And then uh, whenever the fire it lit and it spread light all around, the moths and those other creatures that fall into the fire, they began falling into the fire. They began falling into the fire. This is the example. The example the Prophet ﷺ said about himself and the parable of himself and the people is like this, like a man. A man, he started a fire, like a big fire. And then those uh, those insects and the likes and those bugs that uh, and the moths and the likes that whenever the fire is lit and becomes bright, they are attracted to it and they fall into it. These They start coming and they fall into it. And this is the example of him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the people. So he says, فَجَعَلَ فَجَعَلَ يَنزِعُهُنَّ وَيَغْلِبْنَهُ So he's trying to take them out of the fire, but they overcome him. وَيَقْتَحِمُونَ فِيهَا And they throw themselves headfirst inside. The Prophet ﷺ, he says, فَأَنَا آخُذُ بِحُجَزِكُمْ عَنْ النَّارِ وَهُمْ يَقْتَحِمُونَ فِيهَا He said, and I'm grabbing you by your waists. And they just persist to fall into head first and throw themselves in the hellfire. So the Prophet ﷺ, from his diligence for the people, he's making the example like this. Like a man he, who started a fire, and whenever the moths are trying to, to, to throw themselves and they're attracted to the fire, and the bugs that fly, they're attracted to the light, and they go to the fire, and they're burned up. The man, after now, he's trying to, to move them away from the fire and to... And to fan them away from the fire, this is like the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What do the, 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 the moths do? They overcome him and they jump in the fire anyways. And he is saying this is the same way like he is himself is grabbing the people by their waist and trying to take them out of the fire, but they keep diving head in. But they keep diving head in. Now, so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was very diligent to, to guide the people. And he was very diligent to uh, try to call the people and warn them from the from the fire and warn them from the punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal and warn them from the punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal and likewise Allah He mentioned about Him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Harisun Alaykum Bil Mu'minina Ra'ufun Rahim that He was very kind and merciful to the believers that He was very kind and merciful to the believers Sallallahu Alaihi he was merciful to the children and he was most merciful to his the peers that were who were of his age sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he was merciful to those who were elder and older than him and, and even those who at one time were staunch enemies and they uh, attempted to kill him or harm him and his companions whenever allah guided their hearts he accepted them and their islam and he's kind to them sallallahu alayhi he was kind to the believers and he was merciful to the believers. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammadur Rasulullah. Muhammad, he is the messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. These points here that the author has mentioned, they're very, very important for a believer to memorize them. If somebody were to ask, What does it mean? You said that you bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What does that mean? Ma'mana hadihi shahada. What would one say? What will one say? We don't want to be like the... Uh, 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 he's the messenger of Allah. Uh, uh, Allah sent him. Okay, alhamdulillah. But we have to have details. Because a believer, he has to be upon clarity. And his deen, he has to be upon insight. And in his religion, and in his methodology, and his creed. And this is the foundation of creed. That there's nothing worthy of worship except for Allah, and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So to memorize this, this is important and uh, a great requirement for a believer. Ta'atuhu fima amara, to obey him and that which he has commanded. Wa tasdiquhu fima akhbara, and to believe that which he has informed of. Wa istinabu ma anhu naha wa zajra, and to, be, and to leave off everything that he has prohibited sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alla yu'bad allahu illa bima shara'a illa bima shara'a sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we close with, with this hadha wa sallallahu ala nabiyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam